Annie's Quilt Shop's video on our favorite rulers. Today we're going to talk about the Quilter's Quarter Marker. The Quilter's Quarter Marker is a multifunctional tool. Uh, today I'm going to demo how to use it to make perfect mitered corners every time. Um, mitered corners are essentially a Y seam. Here's your Y here, right here. See if I can lay this out perfect for you. And you can have perfect mitered corners like this where all of your points line up perfect every time. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take our quilt top. When you go to use your quilter's quarter marker to do Y seams, you need to make sure your borders are at least as long as your finished quilt top. So that means your inside top plus the width of your border. So if your quilt finishes after it's all done, 100 by 100, all four of your borders need to be at least 100 inches long when you cut them and put them on your quilt top. So the very first thing you're going to do is take your quilt top, lay it right sides together with your border. I always mark the center of my quilt top with a little finger crease and I mark the center of my border with a finger crease and then I lay that straight across just like this so they're nice and neat and I have a straight edge right across the top. What I'm going to do is on each edge of this quilt top I'm going to take my quilter's quarter marker. This mark right here has a little hole in it and it's mark E. This is my 90 degree angle. I'm going to line up these dotted lines with the edge of my quilt top and the top of my quilt top and borders and I'm going to use my favorite pen any pen. I'm using a Pigma pen today. Don't use a Pigma pen because it won't permanently mark your fabric, but I would like you guys to be able to see my dot. So I'm going to use a Pigma pen right there and I'm making a mark. This is a quarter inch in from the edge of the side of the quilt and the edge of the top of the quilt. Marking right there. Okay, now I'm going to go to the other edge of my quilt top and again, I'd like you to pretend this border's not here yet because we're just putting on this one. And I'm going to do the same thing on the edge of this quilt top. Take my quilter's quarter marker, line it up across the top, right where that E is, I'm going to make a dot. Again, that's my quarter inch dot right there. Now I'm going to take that border and I'm going to stitch a quarter inch just from this dot all the way over to this dot. I like to use very small stitches at the beginning and the end of that stitch line instead of doing a backup, backup stitch or um, a stitch in place mark because that leaves a little knot. So this way I start out with tiny stitches almost down at a zero stitch and then I work my way up to my 1.8 regular stitch length across the border and then I go down to that small tiny stitch again at the end stopping again right on that dot. I'm going to do the same thing on my second border, so here I go, I'm going to mark this edge over here, right at the edge of the quilt top, I'm going to put a dot, and I'm going to move over to the other side, and again put a dot here. Then I'm going to stitch that border on the exact same way. After I've done that, I'm going to take my quilt top, and I'm going to lay it out so that both of those borders, I've sewn two consecutive sides on. So they're this side and this side. Oh, let me show you here. This side and this side because here's my miter. So I've sewed this strip on and now this strip and I'm going to put those together. If I lay my quilt top out like this with my top between my borders, my borders are right side together. The rest of my quilt top is out of my way. Now I've got this nice and straight flat across here, just like that. I'm going to lay it out perfectly neat, okay? I take my quilter's quarter marker. I just like to make sure everything's perfect. And I'm going to lay this down just like this. And I'm going to put this B point, this is my 45 degree angle here. I'll turn this around so you can see it. B, I call this my B line because it starts at the B and that is my 45 degree angle that I want to make my mitered corner out of. I am going to lay that down. I'll move this right to the center of the board here. Right on top of my dot that I made earlier. My dot is right underneath there. If I put a pen right through that dot, there I am at the same dot I made earlier. Now I'm going to start drawing a line out here. 
Obviously my border is longer than my quilter's quarter marker. You can take any other ruler to extend this line all the way out, but I'm just going to draw that line all the way down, and then I'm going to stitch here on this dotted line, a quarter inch in from this line that I drew. This is my stitch line. This is my cut line. After I've stitched here, I can cut off my excess borders here, and I have a perfect mitered corner every single time. Real easy for you to do. If you want your mitered corners to look this nice every time you do them, try using the Quilter's Quarter Marker. It's one of our favorite tools here at Annie's.